26th June of every year is celebrated as a thermodynamics day and as usual this year also uh, Forbes Marshall is very excited to be associated and celebrating this day. There is no better system which depicts the thermodynamic principles and the laws of thermodynamics in practicality as the steam system does. Forbes Marshall has been associated with steam engineering over the last 75 years and if you look at the thermodynamic laws and how they play out in steam systems in the process industries, uh, it explains the theoretical laws in a practical manner as nothing else can. Take the first law of thermodynamics, energy can neither be created or destroyed, it just changes the form. If you look at a typical steam system, we are burning fuel, if you take 100% of energy in the fuel burnt in the boiler uh, as the input, 80% of that energy is getting converted into steam. As steam flows through the distribution networks and reaches the process, it passes that heat on to the process and comes out in the form of condensate. So at every stage, energy is changing form. Uh, from the fuel energy due to combustion into steam and the emissions and discharges that are happening within the boiler house, through heat exchange process into the uh, process applications and then finally in the form of condensate and flash steam coming out of the process. If we want to improve the energy efficiency of this entire system, it's very difficult to understand what is happening in a, uh, in a practical situation where all of this is happening inside pipelines and metal tubes. Thermodynamic laws come to our aid to understand what is happening where and how we can improve the efficiency robustly. If you look at some of the other areas of application of the same thermodynamic principles, the a change of energy in a system, the formula says that any change in the energy of a system is equal to the total energy entering the system minus the total energy leaving the system. If we apply that to a heat exchange process, it tells us how much is the energy gained by the process and it gives you a calculation base which tells you what is happening practically in a process application. Many of the process applications, especially the heating applications, continue to use a very time-tested temperature versus time curve instead of depending upon any other parameter which the process is uh, trying to achieve. The reliability of a time versus temperature curve in controlling and managing the process is much better than any other parameter can. I think energy conservation and energy efficiency is a key topic which is impacting us today as never before. And it can only be improved if we have a better understanding of the system that we are trying to improve the efficiency of. This understanding can be developed by going from the first principles of thermodynamics and applying them to practical situations. Again, in steam systems, it's the way the steam systems behave is the most practical example of making the thermodynamic laws come uh, alive in terms of practical applications instead of just theory in the textbooks. You take any heating application or a motive, uh, any other application where steam is being used as a motive force. For example, in turbines where steam energy is being used to run the turbines and generate electricity or where steam pressure is used to create vacuum within processes, the change in form of energy is accompanied with an efficiency. And that efficiency has to be calculated to ensure the efficiency of the entire system remains constant and is, the, is optimized to the best limits. In heating application, in thermal application, one of the best parts of steam is it gives off its latent heat of evaporation instantaneously the moment it comes in contact with anything which is at a lower temperature. This instantaneous emission of the transmission of the latent heat of evaporation is what makes steam the most popular heating medium ever since it has been discovered and invented for the process application and it continues to be the most uh, favorite 
heating medium even in the process industries today. And that's not only because of the properties of steam, but also because of the basic principles that govern the design of the steam system. Pressure, temperature, volume are all parameters related to each other. So even if the steam is flowing inside pipelines and is generated inside a boiler, applying the basic fundamental laws, one can gain understanding of this system to improve the process plant efficiencies. I think the word thermodynamics itself brings the dynamism of the entire thermal system into view. However, in practical, uh, we tend to reduce it to static and absolute numbers. With intervention of digital uh, data uh, tr transmission, I think we are now getting to understand the dynamism of the entire steam system in its complete form. We see parameters which were uh, believed to be static numbers and absolutes are now varying constantly by every second. And the KPIs, whether it's the steam flow, pressure, temperature, condensate recovery factor, each of these KPIs changes over a period of time. And it tells us how the steam in its dynamic form is really behaving in process plant. With this understanding, and this data, detailed analysis of the data coming to us uh, from different plants, we are now able to understand the steam systems much better and improve our ability to control it and make it more efficient for the process industry and its usage. I think this is an exciting field and in spite of Forbes Marshall being in this field for 75 years, every year we find there are new learnings and there are new applications of the same fundamental laws that we can bring to bear in the steam systems in process industry.